God. You know, Lane, he's been here a few weeks, and he's cool and all, but he's just really quiet. Anyway, everybody started talking about getting together at Sky Zone for a BOGO day. That's buy one, get one free. I was in the kitchen when we all started setting it up. Everybody texted that they were in. Flynn was in, Elliot. Q was super excited. Even Aiden was coming. We all were psyched. But in the middle of the group chat, I got this alert. Lane's birthday party. It was today. I don't know if his mom didn't know how to let anybody know or if something went wrong, but nobody was gonna be there. God, there was something that just wasn't right. Lane hadn't really made many friends yet. I mean, we had talked, but I've never been over to his house or anything. So I asked my friends if we could change plans. At first, they weren't sure. But after a few texts, everybody was in. We realized we could do Sky Zone anytime. God, Lane's place was pretty cool. Games, cake, we actually had a lot of fun. I think Lane was really surprised. It was good to kind of get Lane into the group. And next week, we all go to Sky Zone. And Lane's coming too. Thanks God for showing me how to be a good friend to all my friends, Robbie.
between us. By the cross you came and broke them down. You broke them down. There were chains around us. By your grace we are no longer bound. No longer bound. You call me out of the grave. You call me into the light. You call my name and then my heart came alive. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Feel the darkness shaking. All the dead are coming back to life, back to life. Hear the song awaken, all creation singing, we're alive, cause you're alive. You call me out of the grave, you call me into the light, you call my name and then my heart came alive. Oh, your love is greater. Your love is stronger, your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater, your love is stronger, your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. What a love we found, what a love we found, death can't hold us down. We shout it out cause we're alive, cause you're alive. What a love we found, death can't hold us down. We shout it out cause we're alive, cause you're alive. What a love we found, death can't hold us down. We shout it out cause we're alive, cause you're alive. Your love is greater, your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love awakens me. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Amen. Good job, everybody. That was awesome. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes. 
I will build my life. I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation, and I will put my trust in you alone. And I will not be shaken. I will put my trust in you alone, and I will not be shaken. Holy, there is no one like you, there is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder, show me who you are and fill me. Your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation, and I will put my trust in you alone. And I Good job, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I love to hear y'all sing. Y'all sing beautiful. Oh. That cooler is heavy. Does anybody have any idea what I might have in there? No, no ice, no popsicles, no drinks. I brought some stuff kind of tell a story about a picnic. Well, kind of. No. I just brought some props to help tell the story today. Well, have anybody you anybody in here ever been hurt by a friend? Sometimes. Have anybody has anybody in here ever hurt a friend's feelings? Sometimes we all do it, right? Well, God gave us a way to help heal the hurt and we're going to read a story or talk to a story about jesus and his friend peter so does anybody know the story of peter peter what you need to know about peter is peter's the kind of guy who come t sometimes spoke before he thought about it right he was a brave follower of jesus but he messed up too the night before Jesus was arrested, Jesus told him that he was going to deny him three times, right? And that's what happened. He denied him three times before the rooster crowed. <laughs> so P Peter, Peter thought he messed up bad. So whenever Jesus came back to life and he came to, s to see uh, Peter, Peter didn't know if Jesus would still be able to love him or be his friend or if he would forgive him, right? But soon after Jesus came back, Peter went fishing with some of his friends. Oh, Peter went fishing with some of his friends. They fished all night long and didn't catch a single fish. So Jesus, who was standing on the banks, told them to throw the net on the right side of the boat, right? So they dropped the, night, the nets on the right side, and whenever they pulled up the nets, they were too heavy to pull in, right? There were so many fish in there, they couldn't pull the nets back in the boat. And they thought, hey, who is that guy? That's Jesus. Simon put his coat on, jumped in the water, and swam all the way to the bank just to, to see Jesus first. But whenever they got there, 
they noticed Jesus had started a fire. They, he was cooking them bread and fish. No, it's not a real fish. This looks like a real fish. He, so he said, Jesus th therefore saith unto them, Children, have ye caught any fish? Answered him, No. And they said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and ye shall find the cast therefore. And now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. So Jesus told them to throw it on the other side, and they listened, right? They listened to what Jesus said, and they caught so many fish that they couldn't pull it in. No, it's not real bread. It's squeaky toy. So after they got done eating, Jesus took some time to talk to his friend Peter, right? Peter had another name. He was also named, known as Simon. So let's see what Jesus told Simon. So when they had, had broken their first fast, Jesus said to Simon, Peter, Simon, son of John, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Feed my lambs? He asked him again. He asked him a second time. He saith unto him again, the second time, Simon, son of John, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Tend my sheep. Tend my sheep? Why is he talking about sheep and lambs? He didn't want to feed Jesus his sheep and lambs, right? But he asked him a third time, what did, what did Peter do three times before Jesus was arrested? He denied him three times. So whenever Jesus asked him the third time, he got kind of sad. So the third time, he saith unto him, the Lord the third time, Simon, son of John, love, love thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee, Jesus saith unto him, feed my sheep. So Jesus really wasn't talking about sheep, was he? No. He was talking about people. He was talking about Jesus' followers. And yes, ma'am. So when <laughs> Whenever uh, Jesus was talking about sheep, he was talking about people, the followers and the non-believers. Jesus had an important job for Simon Peter. That job was... Matthew. Forgive that one another. Jesus forgave Simon, and he knew that by the big job that he was going to give him. Do we have another Bible verse? Okay. So, whenever Jesus said, feed my sheep, tend my sheep, he wanted Simon to take care of all the people. He wanted Simon to help spread the, the, the good news of Jesus, right? So, Jesus forgave Simon and gave him a big job because they were good friends and he still loved him and he still knew that Simon loved him too. So let's pray and ask God to help us forgive people. Dear Lord, thank you for the day and things, things you've given us. Thank you for letting everybody come here safely today. And please give us the wisdom to forgive people and give us the ability to forgive people in the same way that you for, forgave Simon. In your name I pray, amen. So in closing... We need to learn how to forgive our friends, right? But we've got to be smart in how we forgive them. We can ask our parents 
our small group leaders, some other real close friends, because we can forgive people so many times, but sometimes that people do things that we, we need to not have those friends anymore, right? We need to find some new friends or go with our better friends. So let's go to our small groups and talk about friendship, okay?